Welcome to today's video, my name is DB and these are my top 5 tips for playing Diablo 3. So tip number 1 is elective mode. As you can see here I have got 3 skill set from the hunting panel. Now I can only do this because I have elective mode on. So, what is elective mode? Well, elective mode, if you go under gameplay and see here, is enable full customization of skill selection and placement on the action bar. So when you first log in, um, Diablo doesn't allow you to change what these skills are. So you have your primary skills, which you can go in and that's fine, but you can only use primary skills as your primary key. Then this is a secondary key, but because I've changed it, it's archery. But if I don't have elective mode, I cannot change again. So it's I'm stuck with that function now. But if I have election mode ticked back on, what you will see is now I can change and I can put in whatever I wish to put in there. That's elective mode. It's really helpful. It makes you customize your build and play the way that you want to play. Tip number two is force move. When playing Diablo 3, especially as someone like the Demon Hunter, sometimes you get into a rabble and you try to get away but you end up shooting them, like so. So, what annoys me the most about that is that you can't get round them or you're trying to get away but you end up hitting an enemy. Now, if you hold a specific button, which is generally spacebar, you can now move without actually clicking your primary skill. So you can avoid these enemies fairly straightforwardly. Let's just try and let's kill these off quickly. So let's take a look. If you go to options and you go to key bindings, a little bit further down, you have force move. So it's automatically set up as space, but again, you can just click and change and then it'll, you can sort it out yourself. And that's tip two. Tip number three is when you see a orange star or brownish star, that is a legendary item job. Make sure you go and get it, click it, lovely. Also, when you see a green, it is a set item. Make sure you pick that bad boy up. Finally, when you see that special red glow, that is time for Primal. Make sure you pick that up. Tip number four is the gem of ease. Once you've got this legendary gem and you level it up to over 50, every monster kill grants at least 3,150 experience per kill. And the level requirement of this gem is socketed into an item, is set back to one. So if you have a level 70 item, you put it into a weapon, it drops the level requirement back to one great piece of kit if you want to speed level a character it's great so just to give you an example of it i have a thunder fury here level 70 i have a 53 gem of ease plonk it in there plonk it in to an empty stash and let's go and create a new character make sure you click seasonal hero and let's call this hints click ok yes i'd love to participate in the season again so, go to game settings, put it in adventure mode, and you can probably put it on torment one uh, with the weapon that I've got there. Click off. So, once you've got that, go to your stash, find the empty uh, item. Uh, let's have a look, put it in. Lovely jubbly. Let's just go and try and level up somewhere. Go to Halls of Agony, usually a good place to start. So as you can see, I am level one. I only have one weapon in, which is my Thunder Fury. Let's do this. So as you can see, I am already level 18 and I've just walked in. 19, 20, 21. There's no comparison. I just leveled up. I'm leveling up faster than Diablo can think I am. It's great. Tip number five, and by no means least, is hotkeys. So when you have a skill that you need constantly up at all times, like for my Unhallowed Essence build, I need Vengeance up at every maximum possibility. What I need to do is hotkey it. So what hotkey does is once the timer runs out and it's fully regenerated, it'll pop again without me having to do anything. 
So to do that, I need to go to options, go to key bindings, and look at action bar skill one, two, three, and four. So that's one, two, three, four. Numpad three is my vengeance. So to hotkey it, I need to press numlock and number three at exactly the same time on my keypad. So what I'll do now is once the cooldown is finished, it will pop it again and I won't have to press any buttons. See, it popped and I didn't press a button. You can also do this with your other skills. So now I need companion. So once companion's done, so now I've done two of my three skills that I need to get completed. So I do number four as well. So now I've got all of my passive skills done with that I don't need to run anything. So Wolf Companion runs. Now all I need to focus on is my Vault, my Evasive Fire, and my Multi Shot. And that is it. That's hotkeying. It makes the builds a lot easier. It makes you more consistent and stronger for longer. So I hope this video helps you guys out. Uh, these tips have helped me a hell of a lot. I wish I knew them before I started playing Diablo because it would have made it a lot easier back in the day. Um, hit the like and subscribe button. Drop a comment below if you want to know anything else about Diablo. My name is DB. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you all again soon.